Umpires, well, they are a different breed, aren't they? Are they the types of players that would think after a game of cricket, like you stand there for five days, and then what do you do after you retire? You go stand there for five more days and don't do anything. You stand there and put your finger up. I'm joking, umpires, we love you. I know that sometimes you got it wrong, most times you got it right. But for me, there are a few umpires around the world which I thought were hilarious, frustrating, but at the end of the day, great people. Uh, Alim Dar. Now, me and Alim Dar didn't often see eye to eye. And I, don't know, I do not know why, I don't know the reason why, but there was one occasion in Bangladesh, a test match, and I would always walk back from the front popping crease, my run up, and then I'd go, and I'd go from the back crease, the return crease, and measure out four steps. One, two, three, four. Mark a line and say, Mr. Dar, could you please put your toes in the line? So what I'd do, the reason why he stood there, every umpire would stand there because I'd mark it out. That was my sort of takeoff point. I knew that in the peripheral, as, I, as I'm running in, I would toe the line, I would jump from four meters back and then land on the return crease and then obviously front foot on the popping crease. So Alim Dar, it's hot, it's you know 40 odd degrees, and I bowled no ball. And sort of looking at the front foot and I thought, yeah, I, I was a fair bit over gone back and I bowled another no ball and I've realized his heels are on the line. I said, oh, Alim, you, you've moved. If you move forward, I bowl no ball. Oh, sorry. He goes, can't stand here. I'm like, what do you mean you can't stand here? I said, y you have to stand here. Like, that's that's where you have to stand. He goes, I can't see the front line. And I must say that the further I put the umpire back, I thought, let's just have seen the front line for a no ball. However, this particular day, everyone's frustrated. I call over the skipper, punter. Ricky Ponting comes over and says, Skip, he won't stand there. And Ricky's like, what? why can't you stand there? He goes, I can't see the front line. So I said, well, what am I gonna do? He goes, we'll just go back and bowl. So I'm off, the spinner's on, I'm at long on, test match, throws the ball up, whacks it down in front of the side screen. I take a spectacular catch, well, what I thought was anyway. And I'm so excited, I've gone, you beauty, and I've just pegged this thing in. and. Straight in the ribs of Alim Dar, I kid you not. Well, all hell is broken loose. There's people running around everywhere. He's down for the count. They're calling for ice. I said, I'm so sorry, mate. So I got called into the match referee's office, uh, Chris Broad. And he said, I know the answer to this, but I have to ask you, did you throw it at Alim Dar on purpose? I said, of course not. One, I couldn't pick him off from here. It's a good shot. But two, I wouldn't want to hurt him. And Alim's like, why'd you do that? I love you. I said, well, mate, I didn't do it on purpose, I'm sorry. They dropped any charges, they, we shook hands and that was fine. So that was my little moment with Alim Dar.